Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, they call us a friendly, the crowd clearly doesn't think so. More an actual fact for we. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, it's hard for me not to say Mario Balotelli. He's a, a maverick, an enigma. Uh, you never quite know what you're going to get. He's as petulant as he is passionate. Talented? Definitely. Combustible? Probably. Not quite. No argument for me on that one. Cuts it out. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's Balotelli! It's there! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Nice are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Nice take the early advantage. And it's Chadley. Chadley is demanding it out wide. Cleared without complication. Jalet. Well positioned to make that interception. Could move up a gear here. And it's got through. Golovin aimed in towards the centre. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's Falcao. And now they can launch a counter. Back to the keeper and try something new. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And that has been clubbed away. Throw it. Here it comes. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Pinged forward. Traore. Right through the middle. Traore. Aimed long and direct. Looking to break out here. Chadley. Oh, that's nice. Chadley's cr gets his head to it. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. 
done very well to intervene. And it's Chalet. Chalet looking to get on the end of this. Benaglio claims it. Defenders on the back foot. Traore over to the left. He's left his man. Striding forward, facing goal. He's had a goal! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. But it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. He slid it through. There is the half-time whistle. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. So we're already into the second period. Monaco don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. And the shot! <laughs> and that's been leave it clear. Child has a swing at it! It's come back out! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Into the channel. Going through. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Chayore. Shoots! No mistake! Monaco are level. given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot it's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier Monaco at the equaliser, and we're all square. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. And now the breakaway. Now it's Chadley. Gets it back. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. <laughs> that's a foul. Free kick's been given. loose who's getting there forward it goes they're actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or or intercept so nobody can get in behind that could spell trouble Played out to the right. Now a chance to break. Away from immediate danger. Plays it out to the flank. Big chance! And that's a real chance missed. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. It's a loose ball. Balotelli. Balotelli! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Nice have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Oh, good interception. 
Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. It's a good foot in there. That's a foul, no two ways about it. And he just whacks it away. And it's Balotelli. Ball through needs to be good here. And that's it. A very good game of football. No 